Hello and welcome to the Red Report. My name is nah. And this is Science Week! I can tell from the views of the last video that, that no one was impressed with the floating paperclip. Ooh, boring. Today we throw caution into the wind and enter into the danger zone! Danger zone! Do not try this at home because you will probably burn your house down and it will probably be my fault. There's my warning, let's move on. For this experiment, you will need a plate. Just like this one. <laughs> Some isopropyl alcohol. Just like this one. An empty bottle of Patron. Just like this one. <laughs> Candles or sparklers. Just like this one. <laughs> Some sort of fire starting implement. <laughs> Food coloring. Just like <laughs> And parents that have given up on the dream of you becoming a lawyer. Just like this one. <laughs> and now we create the danger zone. <laughs> First thing you want to do is get a cup of water and put some red dye in it. Yes. Mix the food coloring in good. The redder it is, the easier it'll be able to see the contrast of the what's gonna happen. Okay, the magic that's gonna happen. Then you wanna burn the bottom of two candles and stick them to the center of a plate. Zone. To the center of a plate. Just like this. Then you wanna light the candles. I'm using candles that don't blow out, that are like part candle and part sparkler. Then pour the red dye into the plate. Isn't that nice? It looks kind of like blood. But it's not blood, it's water with food coloring. Now, we're gonna take the Patron bottle and place it over the candles. The air inside the bottle is gonna heat up. See the bubbles coming out the bottom? That's air escaping. But once the candle goes out, the air inside will cool. And the water will be sucked into the Patron bottle vis-a-vis -vis a vacuum seal with the water thingies. Danger zone! But what should happen if you used a flammable liquid? Like isopropyl alcohols? I don't know, let's find out. Take the isopropyl alcohols and put it in your jar. Let's color it blue this time. For giggles and shits. Danger zone! For shits and giggles. Pour the isopropyl alcohol so that it's all around the candles. Danger zone! But be careful, cause these candles have little sparklers in them. And the isopropyl alcohol is really fucking flammable. Danger zone! <laughs> but don't worry, we know how to put the fire out. Sort of. Danger zone! By depriving the fire of oxygen, we blow it out. Let's try that again with a new candle. Danger zone! Oh, Jesus! These things happen, it's okay, it's science. The best way to do it is to stick the candle to a little piece of paper and then sink the piece of paper down and then light the candle. That's how I was able to finally get this thing to work. Then we take our Patron bottle and see what happens. Danger zone! Once the Patron bottle is being lowered over, the air inside is heating up. Danger zone! And the air is being sucked in off of the bottom. Danger zone! What kind of air? Danger zone! Fumes from the alcohol! Which causes an explosion! Which superheats the inside. Which then drains all of the water out of the plate. Danger zone! Whoa. Final summation! What did we learn? That was dangerous! Uh, the scientific process hibbity boobity bop playing with fire is fun. Oh my god, I literally almost burned my entire house down on that one. I think that's worth sharing. So put it on the internets and share it with your friends on the Facebooks and the what have yous because this is important scientific information that everyone must know. Otherwise, they might die. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Tuesday when we continue our very important work.